In this video, I will show you the easy way to do boot Pop OS 2404 Cosmic Desktop with Windows 11. This method makes it very easy to install Pop OS alongside Windows 11 on the same drive and is one of the safest ways to set up a do boot on any computer without risking data loss. However, it's recommended to back up your files to the cloud or external media. Also, at the end of this video, I will show you how to safely remove Pop OS from the Do Boot. Be sure to watch the video until the end to avoid any confusion. Now, check the description down below for valuable information, timestamps, and download links. The only requirements of this video you need Windows 11 installed on your PC or laptop and 8 gigs or higher USB drive to create a bootable disk with Pop OS. At least 50 GB of free space reserved from your existing drive. Before installing Pop OS, it's recommended to create a system restore point on your Windows computer. Now go ahead and search for restore point in the start menu and open it. This tool allows you to take a snapshot of the system current state. If something goes wrong with the Pop OS installation, you can use this backup to restore your system back to the normal state. If you are using Windows 11 Professional, disable BitLocker encryption before proceeding. BitLocker can interfere with Linux installations. For Windows 11 Home users, this feature is disabled by default. Now let's proceed with creating a free space for Pop OS. Now right click on the desktop and open terminal. Then type diskmgmt.msc and hit enter to access the disk manager, which displays all drives and their partitions. In my case, you can see that one drive is connected. Drive 0 has three partitions. The first one is the EFI partition where the Windows Boot Manager is present. The second one is the main Windows. And the last one is the recovery partition. I'm going to choose the C drive to shrink the free space for Pop OS. In your case, it might be D, E, or F, whatever. Just choose any partition and right click on it. Then choose shrink volume and allocate a minimum of 40 GB or more for Pop OS. You can type the value in megabytes. In my case, I'm going to allocate 200 GB. You can also use calculator. Then click on shrink. This will create unallocated free space. And that's it. We have done creating a free space for Pop OS. Next, open your web browser and visit this link from the description. Download the Pop OS 2404 LTS ISO file. If your computer has AMD or Intel GPU, use the standard ISO file. If your computer has NVIDIA 1650 or higher, use the NVIDIA Edition, which comes pre installed with NVIDIA drivers. Once it's downloaded, Use either Rufus or HR to create a bootable USB. It's time to create a bootable USB with Pop OS. You will need USB pen drive with at least 8 GB of free space. Now for this video, I will be using HR. Then plug in the pen drive into your computer. Simply import the ISO file. Select the drive and click on flash. Once the flashing process is complete, restart your PC or laptop. You can reboot the PC and boot into BIOS using the keyboard shortcut based on your motherboard. Now mostly it could be F2, F9, F10 or the escape key. In the UFI BIOS, enable USB boot. Now go ahead and disable Secure Boot, which is very important. 
Also, in my case, I'm going to clear keys or certificates after disabling the secure boot. Then change the boot order by setting the USB drive as primary boot device. Once it's done, save the changes. Now your system will boot into Pop OS from the USB drive. If it fails to boot, use the boot menu to load Pop OS install media. Now, when you are inside the live setup of Pop OS, go ahead and set your system language. Then choose your keyboard layout. I'm going with English US. Now, the Pop OS installer will display this screen. Here, you will see two options clean install and custom advanced. If you're installing Pop OS on a separate drive, you can go with clean install method. But in this case, we are installing Pop OS along side Windows 11. Just go ahead and select the custom option. The installer will now find the drive where Windows 11 is installed. If you remember, I allocated 200 GB of free space in Windows and you can see that partition is showing up here. We will use this free space to create three partitions for Pop OS. To do so, click on Modify Partitions. Now, by default, it will auto select the unallocated free space. Then go ahead, select the free space, right click, choose New to create a new partition. The first partition will be the EV partition. You can use the slider to reduce the size to around 1000 megabytes. Then make sure it's set as a primary partition. Now use the FAT32 file system, add a label and click add. This will serve as the Pop OS EFI partition. Now again, select the remaining free space. Right click and choose new. But this time, we will create the root partition. I'm going to use around 190 GB for this one. Then choose the file system as xd4, label it as root and click add. This will create your root partition. And finally, use the remaining free space to create the swap partition. And that's it. Now we have successfully created three partitions. Now go ahead and click on the tick mark to finish partitioning the draft. If you notice each partition marked with different color tags, we need to tell the installer how each partition will be used by the system. Now go ahead and select the FAT32 partition, which is a POP EFI partition we created earlier, and enable Use Partition, Check Format, and use it as forward slash boot EFI. Then select the root partition, enable format, and set this as root partition. Then select swap and enable format. And that's it. Now click on Erase and Install. Then create your standard user account. Sit back and relax. The installation will take some time depending on the speed of the drive. Once it's done, go ahead and restart your computer by removing the bootable media. Now your system will boot into Pop OS.
All right, as you can see, we have booted into Pop OS successfully. Now go ahead and finish the basic setup and follow the on screen instructions. It's time to add the Windows Boot Manager to the Systemd Boot menu. If you recall, the Systemd couldn't find the Windows Boot Manager and we need to add it manually. You can also use the UV Boot menu to switch to Windows 11 and Pop! OS. To make it more flexible, it's better to add a Windows Boot Manager to the Pop! OS Boot menu. To do so, open terminal and type this command to log in as the root user. Then type lsplk to list all the drives and their partitions. In my case, the NVMe 0N1 is the main drive where Windows and Pop! OS are installed. The partition NVMe 0N1 P5 is the Pop! OS EFI partition and NVMe 0N1 P1 is the Windows EFI partition. Now we need to copy the Windows Boot Manager into the Pop! OS EFI partition. To do so, first create a directory named Windows EFI inside MNT directory and mount the Windows EFI partition, which in my case is the NVMe 0N1 P1. Once it's mounted, navigate into the Windows EFI directory. Then type ls to list the contents inside EFI folder. You will see a folder named Microsoft which contains all the Windows boot files. We need to copy this Microsoft folder into pop EFI partition. Now simply run this command. Once it's done, navigate into pop EFI partition by running this command. Inside this, you should now see the Microsoft folder. Then change directory into Microsoft and boot. Now inside this folder, you will find the essential Windows files. Now make sure this file is present inside this directory which is required to load Windows Boot Manager. Now type this command and copy the full location of the Windows boot files. Next, we will create a Windows configuration file. To do so, type this command. Then add a title for Windows and for the EFI path, paste the location you just copied. Then append the file name at the end. Once you're done, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus X, then press Y and hit Enter. Now let's modify the Pop! OS loader configuration file. Type this command to open it. And add this line to display the system D boot menu with all available boot entries. Then save the changes and exit. Once it's done, reboot your system and voila, you will now see the Windows Boot Manager and Pop! OS entries in the boot menu. You can choose your option to boot into your desired operating system. As a bonus part of the video, if in case you don't like Pop! OS and decided to uninstall, then reboot your computer. Now choose this option to boot into UV Firmware menu. 
I'm going to press F9 to enter the boot menu. You need to boot into Windows 11 using the UV boot menu, instead systemd. Once you are inside Windows 11, open terminal and type this command to open the disk manager. Here, in my case, next to the C drive, there are three new partitions are showing. We need to delete each partition, one after the other. Now as you can see, I have done deleting root and swap partitions, and there is no option to delete the boot EFI partition. To remove pop OS EFI partition, open command prompt as administrator. Then inside command prompt, type disk part. Then type list disk. This will show all the drives connected to my PC. Now as you can see, drive 0 is the only drive connected to my computer where windows are present. I'm gonna go ahead and select this drive by typing this command. Now I'm gonna type list partition to view all partitions of this drive. If you notice carefully, partition 5 is the pop EFI partition which we failed to delete from the disk manager which is this one. Now as you can see, it's around 1000 megabytes. We're gonna go ahead and remove this partition. Just go ahead and type this command to select this partition and make sure you have selected the proper partition. Then type delete partition, overwrite and press enter. Now as you can see, under the disk manager, it's now deleted and we gain back free space. You can use this free space and merge it back to Windows 11. And that's it, we have successfully removed Pop OS. Now restart your computer. It should boot your system into Windows 11 directly and you won't face any issues. This is how you properly set up a do boot on your Windows 11 computer with Pop OS. Let me know what do you think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.